Hello there and welcome to the job training video for the forum reply poster. Now, this is going to be a job overview and a step-by-step -step walkthrough training of all job tasks that are going to be required of you. First of all I'd like to say congratulations and welcome. Inside this training you're going to be given a big picture overview of exactly what your job will involve. Then we will go into specific detail on each one of your work tasks so you gain a complete 100% understanding of everything you need to do. Important point here, you are now in the training phase. Your employer wants and expects you to ask him or her any questions you may have for further clarification, so relax. And Finally, the first one or two times that you apply your work tasks will be considered practice runs. So take as much time as you need to study this training. The bottom line is we want you to be comfortable. So let's get to the job tasks overview, okay, of, of the forum poster, which is what you're going to be doing. First of all, in a nutshell, your job is going to consist of replying to 10, give or take 10, forum posts in the most popular discussion forums in your employer's niche of choice each day. Now the niche of choice or the topic area that your employer will be operating in is going to be his or her decision. Just so you know, when I say the word niche or niche, I mean the, the general topic area. It could be anything, for example, dog training or um, marriage advice or make money on making money online. Those are all examples of or you know internet marketing. Those are all examples of niche markets, okay? So I just want to make sure that you know what the word niche means when I say it. Now there there will be a period before you start your job where your employer will be getting you knowledgeable and up to speed on the niche or topic area that you will be posting forum replies within. Now it only makes sense, of course, if you're going to be posting replies to people's questions in discussion forums, you're going to want to make sure that you know what you're talking about and that you can reply with genuinely helpful advice. So that's why there's going to be a crucial getting you up to speed and knowledgeable on the niche area period that your employer will be putting you through. Now your employer will be giving you two to three books or courses or videos or maybe a mixture uh, that are that are all about the topic area or the niche area uh, that you will be studying okay that will provide you with a baseline of knowledge on the niche or topic area that you will be posting forum replies within and after you have a solid base of understanding on the niche topic area your employer will then be giving you one final list of the five to ten most requested you know in demand popular topics and or questions or issues that keep coming up over and over again in the forums okay and these are the, these are going to be the things that the people in the niche area most commonly ask about uh, the other way to think about these five to ten questions these are the highest traffic questions in the forums okay these are the questions that when somebody posts them they get the most eyeballs okay they get the most people looking at the forums and they generate the most replies okay the most forum activity so your employer is going to be giving you uh, a list of those five to ten most requested and popular topics or questions or issues okay because those are going to be those are going to be the areas that you're going to want to be focusing on when you actually start doing your job of replying to the forum posts and the reason just so you know is the end goal of your employer is to get as many people who read the replies that you post um, to click on the link in the signature file okay that's that little paragraph at the end of the discussion reply that you're allowed to put that you will be putting okay and the way your employer can get the most people to click on that link is for you to be only posting replies to the most popular highly trafficked forum questions it makes sense right moving on here you will then once you've gotten this list of the five to ten most requested and popular topic areas you will then take the time to research and study them 
so that you can easily provide thorough, genuinely helpful forum responses to the people that would be asking questions within these five to ten hottest topic areas. So the big picture here is first your employer is going to want you to have a baseline of knowledge okay on, on the niche area and that's going to be when he or she gives you those two to three books courses and or videos okay just overall knowledge of the niche area and then after that once you have a solid baseline of the niche area you're going to then be given a, a specific list of five to ten specific hot button hot topic issues or questions okay and that's going to be the, net, the final thing you sort of study before you're really ready to get going and get started with your job. In any case, once you have completed the above and have gained sufficient knowledge about your employer's niche or topic area, you will then be asked to submit two to three practice forum replies to two to three sample forum questions that your employer will be providing you with. And if your responses to the sample forum questions that your employer gives you are genuinely thorough, relevant, and helpful, you will officially be hired and your employer will approve and your job will be started. And that's when your job will actually entail posting helpful responses to 10, and that's give or take, your employer might want you to do a couple more, but give or take 10 highly trafficked form questions per day along with your employers signature file of choice now as we talked about again the signature file is that last little paragraph couple line paragraph at the end of any of your replies where it, it basically says you know if you'd like to get X or Y or Z or if you'd like to get this amazing little you know thing and by the way your employer will be providing you with the signature file you will not need to be writing it yourself but it's a little area that says if you'd like to get this special free free gift item um, you know click this link okay and that's the main goal by the way again of your employer he wants he or she wants as many people as possible to be clicking that link in the signature file that you will be posting at the end of each and every one of your forum responses all right, so now that we've given you the big picture of what your job will entail, we're now going to go through um, an actual job training walkthrough example just to give you a, a thorough idea of exactly what your job's going to entail. Okay, so let me exit this um, PowerPoint presentation. We're going to keep recording there. And for this example, let's just pick a niche uh, topic area of choice. For this niche, Let's just say your employer was interested in the niche being internet marketing, okay? You know, that's online marketing, affiliate marketing, driving traffic online, but the niche is internet marketing. And let's say, you know, you're going to be, we're not going to talk about those three courses that your employer will be giving you because he or she, it's going to be up to him or her to decide what those three baseline um, foundational courses will be. Let's just talk about the hottest topic areas. Okay, and for now I'm just going to make a list of five, but your employer will probably be giving you ten. The other thing to keep in mind is that your employer will most likely be updating this the list of the hottest topic areas over time because, as with any topic area, there is always new things happening and certain topics will become hot and certain topics will become less popular so but let's just say that the five hottest topic areas that your employer will give you let's just for example say let's say the first one was driving traffic from Facebook We'll make that a little more qualified. Driving free traffic from Facebook. And just so you know, if you aren't familiar with internet marketing, internet marketing is basically people that want to make money online. And the main thing that they want is to figure out how to drive traffic, you know, visitors, website visitors, to different pages where they can make a commission by referring the person, okay? So it's all about driving 
interested traffic, okay, like people who want to learn how to train their dogs, it's all, then internet marketers would want to drive that traffic, those people that want to learn how to, you know, train their dog to stop barking or stop maybe peeing on the carpet, they're going to want to try to drive that traffic, targeted traffic, to, an, to, a, to a place where that person will end up buying something and they will hopefully end up getting the commission because they referred that that traffic, if you know what I mean. Anyways, these are just examples of four, uh, five hot topics, okay? Let's say another hot topic was, you know, um, ranking websites at the top of Google search, okay? You're probably familiar with that whole search engine optimization thing. Let's say the third one was, and this is coming off the top of my head, creating um, hot selling um, information products. You know, ebooks and software and um, all those, you know, videos, all those digital, digital downloadable products that people try to sell online. Let's just say that was a hot topic. And real quick, let's just say the fourth one was, let's say it's another traffic one, okay? Let's say it was driving, tra driving free traffic from, let's just say LinkedIn. You, LinkedIn is that it's the professional business social network site. It's kind of like, um, it's LinkedIn.com, just so you know. It's kind of like Facebook, but it's for business people, okay? So driving free traffic from LinkedIn. Could be number four. And number five, let's just say, let's say it's a make money related thing. Let's say it's making affiliate income from Craigslist. You probably know what affiliate marketing is and affiliate income, but it's basically when you go to a you go to any one of thousands upon thousands of company websites that will allow you to sell their products for a commission. So let's say I wanted to sell a dog collar, a dog collar, right? Well, I could sign up on you know let's say dogcollars.com, and they will give me maybe 20% commission, 20% of the sale price if I can send traffic to their website and if that person buys okay and let's say that this person was trying to basically drive traffic from Craigslist you know Craigslist.com it's that big classified ad site let's say they were trying to drive traffic from Craig, Craigslist free traffic and they were trying to redirect it to a dog collar site to make an affiliate commission okay that's just an example there I'm just trying to give you a, a, a basic understanding of the internet marketing niche just in case you don't already know all right, so let's say that those were the five hottest topic areas, right? Okay, well, obviously this is the internet marketing niche. And the other thing you need to know is that your employer will be providing you with the top forums, okay? The top most popular discussion forums within your niche area. And just for this live example, we're gonna go to the number one internet marketing forum which just so happens to be the warriorforum.com warriorforum.com okay and here is that actual example of what you're going to be doing okay now I already made this list of these five hottest topics but I'm actually going to go off what I see right on the most on, on the main page in this forum where, where the discussions are see right here it says main internet marketing discussion forum. This is the main forum area, okay? Every forum, whether it's in the dog training niche or any niche, any niche topic area, it's gonna have the main discussion forum area, okay? And that's where you're gonna be doing your post within. So let's click in here. And and I have and uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look for what I what I happen to know because I already know what's the most popular topics in this niche, okay? So I'm just going to find, I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm going to find a high-trafficked um, 
post here that I can post a response in. And real quick, there's a couple things I want you to look at. The first thing you want to know is you only want to be posting responses to posts or to questions that are somewhere near the top of the forum page. So I would say anywhere from here, right at the beginning, to maybe um, about the midway down the page, maybe this is as far as, I, as far as I would go, you only want to be posting responses to posts that are within this very, very top kind of area, okay? From the very top to maybe a little bit more beyond the midway points, right around here. Because those are the ones that are going to be getting the most traffic. And remember, the main goal of your employer is to get as many people as possible to click. And let me show you an example. See this right here? This little area here? This is what's known as a signature file. Your employer wants as many people as possible to click on this area that's going to be at the bottom of any post you make, okay? Any reply. Anyways, let's go ahead and find a really hot topic question area. Give me one sec here. Before I do that, there's one more important thing for you to know is that when you're choosing which question in the forum to post a reply to, you want to make sure that there aren't already a lot of replies, okay? What I'm going to tell you is you only want to post replies to questions in a forum where there's less than 10, or 10 replies already um, to that question. And ideally, you want there to be less than five replies. So I would probably say try to try to keep it definitely less than seven. That again, you don't you only want to post a reply if there's currently less than seven existing replies, okay? But ideally it's even less than five. So just so you know, on a quick scan here, see where it says uh, let me move up a little bit. See where it says replies here? Most forums will have this, okay? They'll let you know how many replies are currently already on each one of these questions. So this one right here is 11. That's already too many. We would not post a reply to this question. 51, of course, is too many. But this one, three, if this topic right here was a very, um, was one of those hot, high traffic, you know, those top five, 10, again, going back to here, top five to 10 hottest topic areas, if it was on that topic, um, right here, this would be a good one to post in, okay? So that's an important point, very important. You do not want to be posting replies to anything that has more than 10, rep more than 10 replies. And ideally, you really don't want to be posting unless if there are more than seven, but try to keep it so number five or six position is the, is the highest position your post would take. So let's just click on this real quick. As you can see, look, there's only, look at that, there's already been five posted because, um, you know, it updates very quickly. But now would be a time to get our post in here. So let's just do a quick, let's assume this was one of the hot topics here. It seems Matt Cuts, which, by the way, is the one of the, one of the um, big guys at Google. He's one of the big top-ranking officials um, at the search engine, whatever, yesterday, informed there would be some major changes coming in the next Penguin update that won't be liked by the webmasters. Here we go. I really, okay. Really wish Google didn't dominate, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, I sort of do know a decent amount on this topic. So I'm just, here is what you will be doing, okay? Here is your basic uh, job task that you will be doing, okay? Assuming you already know about this, you will be making a post. And I'm going to pause this real quick, and I'm going to come back when I'm done writing my valuable, genuinely helpful reply. All right, so I, I, I wrote my helpful, genuinely useful response. And just so you know, I am knowledgeable about this niche area. Particularly, this is a search engine optimization question. And here's what I wrote. I mean, the big picture here is a lot of people try to ex exploit Google and they try to game the system and try to kind of cheat their way to the top. But the bottom line is with SEO is if you just make it a point to provide genuinely helpful 
um, good content and, con and to continually update your website or your blog with good content that will be valuable to your um, visitors and you, st and, you, and you look at it as a long-term thing where you stop looking for immediate results and you stop trying to, you know, um, get a ton of people linking to your site in order to artificially boost your rankings, eventually that, 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 um, that game plan will work off, will work because Google will naturally see your site as a valuable authoritative resource, res um, you know, resource. And that's the big picture here. So here's, here's how I wrote, just so you can get a feel of what I mean by a genuinely helpful, valuable, useful response. This guy was asking about one of the higher ups at Google, um, a new update that they're doing to the search engine ranking system that apparently is going to not be um, not be liked by people who are trying to get their websites ranked. So this guy is basically another person who's looking to game Google, which, as I just told you, is not the way to go. So here's what I wrote. After years of stressing out about trying to receive quick and easy traffic from Google with the absolute minimum of work, I have come to the following conclusions. 1. Trying to game Google is without a doubt a losing battle. 2. SEO is a long-term traffic-getting activity. And 3. If you make it your goal to provide fresh, consistent, genuinely helpful, and valuable content, along with even just the basic social signals, by the way, just as a side note, that's about like putting the Facebook share button and putting like the Twitter you know, whatever button. Those are like those little social things that allow people to spread your your content through social media, but that's, don't worry about that. Anyways, on a consistent basis, and stick, and, um, and stick to it, the traffic will come, and you won't have to worry about playing any Google games. So in general, just do good for others, and forget about the fast results. From what I've seen and heard, the most successful SEOers, you know, search engine optimizers, are the ones who are the least desperate for immediate results and treat it as a long-term investment. This is why outsourcing solid SEO can be such a great way to go. Keep the boring part of waiting out of sight and out of mind until that one golden day arrives and your site finally has its day. Okay, so that was my useful, valuable, helpful response. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a feel of what a good response would be. Obviously, I have good knowledge about this area that they asked about. Obviously, I know that I already made the determination that this SEO question was a very hot, in-demand topic area. I happen to know that SEO is one of the most in-demand, popular topics of the internet marketing niche. So let's go down here a little bit and it says additional options, okay? Now, this is where, okay, so that was an example of a quality, useful, helpful post. And what I would do here, I'm just going to copy that. What you would do is submit that. Here's the thing you need to know. Remember the signature file, the ever important signature file that your employer is going to um, give you to use. He or she might even give you access to his or her account at the forums um, that already has his or her signature file um, of choice automatically added to any post you do. And that's the way it's going to work usually, okay? So all you need to worry about is submitting this uh, useful post, okay? His or her signature file will already be set up in the settings of his or her account or the account that he or she is having you use. Okay, so you won't need to worry about usually, sometimes you might, and your employer might give you special instructions on how to add the appropriate signature file with the link that he wants, he or she wants to use, okay? For this case, it's already automatically in the settings that your employer will have, okay? So you would just need to submit the reply. So you click the button, and there you go. As you can see, I'm one, two, three, four, five. Okay, one other person posted before I was able to post. So I'm number, what is it? One, two, three, four. I'm the sixth reply here, okay? Now, as you'll note here, I don't have a, I don't have a signature file yet. So that's a big problem, okay? So that's because I haven't set it up in my settings, okay? But normally, see, see this area down here? 
this right here is a signature file and you'll see that it looks like it's it's usually phrased like some kind of free valuable offer or bribe okay that's going to make the person reading this discussion forum want to click the link okay look what this one says download a massive graphics package free so as you can see all these people have these signature files with links okay your employer will have one too and he or she will either be providing it to you along with instructions on how to apply it um, so it appears at the bottom of each post that you make or he or she will have already had it set up in his or her account settings so all you'll have to worry about is making the posts and his or her uh, signature file will automatically appear at the bottom okay so that is it for the training the job training for um, the forum poster let's go to the top here now your employer will be in contact with you shortly um, to give you the three foundational courses on his or her chosen niche area okay and those are the courses that are going to get you up to speed okay on the niche they're going to give you that base foundational knowledge okay of the niche he or she will also be providing you with that list of the five to ten hottest topic areas okay the biggest topics or the biggest questions or problems that come up the most in his or her chosen niche area and you will also be making it making an effort to study as much as you can about those five to ten hottest topic areas so you will be able to write those useful genuinely helpful responses to the questions that come up okay in the forums and again you will want to make sure that you're that you're only responding to questions okay that are in the very top area of the main discussion area in the forum um, that your employer wants you to post in okay and also um, and you might go as deep as midway to maybe two-thirds way down the main page okay the second thing to keep in mind is you do not want to post uh, a reply in any thread that has more than really seven replies okay seven at the most ideally you're, with, you're within the top five okay and you will again be posting um, ten replies just like I showed you ten, ten of those per day as uh, part of your job requirements so that's it your employer will be in contact with you shortly with those items thanks again and congratulations for becoming the newest member of the team your employer looks forward to a long-term mutually profitable business relationship and it's also important and your employer wants you to know that if you have any questions whatsoever any confusion or if you have any concerns or if you want any further clarification on anything we talked about here in this job training video your employer encourages you to submit any questions you have to her uh, him or her he or she will most likely already provided you with his or her email okay so please go ahead and do that we want you to be comfortable okay so that's it for now take care